There folks, welcome back to Delboy's Garage. Now this is episode 17 of Project Rat Trailer, which is the daft project to turn an old chip fat trailer into something half decent and then turn it back into something rubbish uh, in the name of a rat trailer. Um, now we're nearly there turning it into a decent trailer. It's nearly quite a nice trailer. Uh, it's now constructed. We've got the frame made. Today I want to get the mud guards on. There's a certain thing I found which monkey boy I didn't realise uh, until I just tried them on. Um, so I've got to make a big modification in that respect and then it's uh, it's over to just a little bit more final construction ready for the decoratification. So there we go, so stick around, stay tuned and see how silly it gets. Right, the first problem I found today is that, um, remember I had this daft spring, I mean, if you go back to the first video this thing came with suspension, it had some soppy spring with no damping so it just bounced up and down like a jack-in-the-box and that meant that these wheels were mounted about three inches lower and I've, as you can see from the videos, I've just mounted them straight on the chassis so effectively it's lower, these are higher effectively now and what that has meant is that the old mud guards, if we bolt them in the place they were the tyres touch the mud guard, which is a problem and there's another thing uh, now for motorcycle use, I checked the law and I'm just making sure that I conform to the rules on this. And the uh, one of the many uh, constraints that you face with towing a trailer with a motorcycle is that it can only be one metre wide. Three feet, three inches and not a scrap more. And having measured it uh, upside down, to this edge of the tyre there is exactly one metre. Any wider and it's too wide, it contravenes the law. You can't tow it with a bike, you can tow it with a car. Uh, you can have all sorts, but uh, there's weight issues, there's length issues, and there's width issues. You have to conform to the rules, and the rules say it cannot be any more than one metre, and it's not negotiable. So if I put these in their position like this, which is where they would have been, then they're going to be too wide, and that's not good enough. So they have to be, effectively, right there. They have to be where the tyre stops the mudguard must stop. That's part of conforming to what what the rules say. So in that sense I'm a little bit sucked. I have to do that. Uh, and I'm thinking the easiest way to do this, because now that they're much, now the trail is lowered, these stick up higher, that bears against the top. These mounts going through those holes are completely irrelevant. It doesn't work anymore. So what I've decided to do, I'm going to lock these off with a hacksaw, cut them off completely, not have them at all, and I'm just going to drill this screw it to the side of the trailer. It seems the easiest way to do it because then you cross it pretty much with a, a, a spacer or a washer or two. It puts it exactly where it needs to be and I can pick the height and I can put them exactly over where they need to be. So that is the task for tonight. Um, I've beaten the dent out of that. I didn't do it on, on video because I've just got so much of this still to do. Just hit it on the inside with a hammer, filed the outside. That's now completely smooth. So that's that done. Um, and now we'll just drill these on the inside, drill those out, and uh, and then cut these outside lugs off. So there we are. That's it for tonight. Uh, it's mud garbage, and uh, try and finish the construction before we start the decoration. So there you go, stick around, uh, stay tuned, and see what we do. Okay. There's another issue with weight as well. Um, they're only allowed to be uh, two thirds of the weight of the bike. That's, again, that's another one of the petty rules that the vehicle inspectorate decided that you must stick with. And two thirds of the weight of the bike. That, this pile of shit is 220 kilos. That's its all up weight. And that means that this, two thirds of that, comes out about 145, 143, 145 kilos. Um, and that is the overall weight, including what's inside it. So I don't think that's too bad. 145 kilos, that's quite a lot at the moment. I don't know what it weighs. We're going to weigh it at the end of this video and see what kind of weight the actual trailer is. And that will give me what kind of idea of payload I can take. But for now, cutting off these stays. Let's get stuck in. Go. Or just wasn't going there, so I resorted to the disc, um, just lobbed them off, mainly because they were welded really strong. 
and they just weren't coming off with a hacksaw, it just was bouncing off. I think something to do with the way they were welded on, it might be stainless, it is a snipe trailer, they're stainless I think. So it just wasn't coming off. So there you go, lob the disc room, they're off. Now it's time to get it back onto the floor. those gone. Um, useful bits of steel. Um, I'll keep them. As with all things, they'll make nice brackets one day. Put them in the steel box. Easy scrap. Now, the, the aim is now fit those straight to the side. A few washers just to bring them out, perhaps half an inch, perhaps spare nut inside, something like that, don't know. But I've got my knob nuts that I got before and they work fine. They're quite long, they're a good inch and a half, so they'll go through this little bit of wood and they'll sit on there nicely. So let's, uh, first of all, pre-drill some holes on these. Those things. I'm gonna put four in. So we'll put a nice sharp center punch. Just guess roughly right round, it's a rat bike. should do it. That's one. Two. This horrible old dent on this end doesn't look very nice, not that it matters because it's a rat bike, blah blah blah, but why not? Why not we take it out? It's not gonna. It's not gonna look nice. It's just gonna get matte black. But it's handy if it's straight. And there we go. Straight. Straight her. <laughs> Ingenuity, turn it up on its side because I can't see up underneath there. Get that level with the bottom of the trailer each side. Get my equally spaced. Sorry. <laughs> my excellent stand pen. <laughs> equally spaced plums in there. Bit of coat hanger. Straight down. Through the hole. Through the hole. That's it. Now, thin it. Right now, I've got the holes drilled. And now I need to get, it needs to space off the surface just a little bit. Um, and that means I'm going to, there's plenty of, plenty, of, plenty of length on my knob nuts. And uh, they'll screw on the other side just fine, some little washers. But I need to just get, it just doesn't matter how big they are, in my nuts box. 
have a grope through my nuts and get like that sort of thing going on so that when it's through the hole um, I can just pop a little spacer on there which will sit against the wood so four of those and it's time to bolt it on Fiddlier than welding them on. Okay, here we are. Let's just tighten it up a bit. Fill over the top of the threads just to weld them on there. Plastic, solid like that. Right, so there we go, a bit fiddly getting them all to line up, but they are now screwed right through. Uh, threads on the inside. I shall just, like I said, I'll just blob a bit of grip fill over those just to hold them rather than doing anything silly like grinding them off because you bung a tent in, you know, like ripping a hole in your tent, so it's got to be smooth. But I have got a plan, something really cool for the inside. Uh, which will smooth all that out, won't be a problem. And as you can see, I've put, I've kind of filled everything in with grip fill tonight, so all the little gaps, everything's sealed, uh, especially up these these gaps at the side and along here. Filled all these gaps in purely because I don't want water going down in the gap and then obviously doing its worst over the next few months. Right, so that's that. That's the off side. Let's stick the other side on, then we get back to something interesting. Right, there you go. That's pretty much it. As strong as they need to be. Trailer up by it as it's got to be nice and tough. And the nice thing is, you get this nice profile, so it looks a little bit neater than sticking over the top. Um, now they're only dry fitted at the minute because, like any build, this is going to have to be pulled apart to be painted. I want to paint something special on the outside which will protect it. And obviously, I want to get on the inside of those mud guards to do that, especially more than anywhere else on the inside of the mudguard so that's they've got to come off again so they'll be painted shortly um, but that's just got them on it's got them ready now the next thing I want to do I want to deal with this now one of you guys said a power washer um, a hot power washer pressure washer would get all this off come on if I should do I don't think uh, I mean that probably would I think you're right mate but personally I don't have one so I'm gonna give Fourth draw, I try. Right, give the old wire wheel system. It might work, might not. Um, no chemicals, uh, not with that matters at hand, but it might just work. Bung the old Elton's on, it's a wire in your fizzer. Just bung that in there. Now uh, it might not work, let's just see. Very clean, just wire wheeled it all off. 
it's galvanised underneath. So I'm just going to bung that on clean like that for now, and I can just paint over it in the end. While we're getting the old primer off, got a nice cleaning box ready. When I got this, it was fitted up, like elevated, about an inch, and it had a little space on that in, which was doing nothing but wobbling about. And I think it's because there is a tight fit, as it's meant to be. Um, and the bloke who put it on, I guess, thought, oh, well, that's where it goes, and he just put it on there. So all I've done is just tap that down. And that's it. Jobs are good. So there we go, uh, that's as far as we're going to get for now, um, reason being that these bolts, uh, whatever, dingbat decided to fit this before, it was like I said, elevated up about an inch, and that means these bolts are too long, uh, the thread runs out, you can't bolt them up tight, so these bolts, after all the effort to clean them, are no good. Um, I've got some shorter ones, which will do the job, and nuts, but just located this little skid run foot thing that goes up underneath so that when you put it down it sits on that and skids on it I've got to get that moved, it's a bit bent and I want to get all this old green paint off it and process that really like everything else, I want to get it up like that so when it goes on it's nice and clean uh, so that's all I can do for now, that is about it um, I'm going to give up on it because I'm getting moaned at by Her Majesty Pit Stop It's 11 o'clock It's 11pm, I want to get this uploaded through the night um, and it's bank holiday Monday tomorrow, we've got some big plans, get some stuff done. So that's it for now, I'm afraid, folks. Um, that's been episode 70. Thanks for watching. I appreciate the support as ever. This is getting close now to the point where I can start making it look daft and painting it black. I've got some interesting things to do with bed liner uh, and so on. So the second, the second stage of the project is coming up and that's going to be pretty good. I just want to get this one finished. Um, also got to grease those hubs, get the hub caps on, blah, blah. It's a little bit more to do messing about, but that's it for now. Thanks for tuning in and watching Dilworth's Garage. I always appreciate this book. Ride safe, I'll see you next time.